Hello, I'm David and in this video we're going to take a look at improving a portrait. We're going to be taking it from this to this and we're also going to take a look at softening skin but that's later in the video. Right, let's make a start. First of all, we need to duplicate the background layer. For that, I'm going to use Command J on a Mac. That's Control J on a PC. Heading up to Filter, we're going to go down to Frequency Separation. Now I need to zoom it a little bit closer. We're already in at nearly 95%. So I'm going to press and hold down command or control. So holding down command or control. Now pressing number two, we go into 200%. Right, let's take a look around. What have we got? Well, on the right hand side, low frequency. What is low frequency? Well, that's the colors, the tones which make up the image. Over on the left, we've got high frequency. Now high frequency is the detail that makes up the image. Okay, let's just lift this up. What I like to do is to blur the low frequency using that as a guide. So moving the slider to the right hand side, you can see the way it's blurring. You can see more detail coming through here. And if I just take it a little bit further, not as far as that, what I like to do is blur round about this area you can see it's getting really soft here. That's sort of, if you squint your own eyes, that's the sort of look I'm after. You can see more detail coming through here as well. Right, we're gonna click apply, and this is where we'll see the high frequency and the low frequency split into two layers. High frequency on the top, low frequency on the bottom. If I just turn this off, you can see there's the high frequency, the detail, and if I just switch this on, here are the colors, the tones on the low frequency. Right, let's start off on the high frequency. We're gonna take a look at removing some of the lines, or should I say, reducing some of the lines underneath the eyes. We're gonna use the clone brush tool, which has got to be my favorite way of doing it. That's the size of the brush. It's 149 pixels. Opacity and flow are both set to 100%. Hardness, I've taken right down to 0%, so it's a very soft brush. The other important thing is we are using current layer. Okay, let's come down to this area here. If I just press my left hand square bracket, now you can see the brush, reducing it down in size using the left hand square bracket. I'm gonna pick up pixels from this area here because what we need to do is find skin sort of texture. Don't forget we are dealing with the detail with this. So we need to find the skin texture, which is going to match around the area of the eye. And I think here will do nicely. Pressing Alt or Option, you get this cross. This is where we're picking the pixels up from. And if I just come down, let's take a look at the line here. If we just go across, I think I need to go in a little bit closer still. Now what you can do is press, hold down, command or control. Now press number three, and no, you don't go to 300%, you go to 400%, work that one out. Right, just dropping it down a little bit further, and let's come around here, and you can see how we can just reduce those lines. Notice how I went over that area. That's because we came over the highlights. I'm not gonna worry about that for a second, taking care not to go over those bottom eyelashes. Don't forget that will form a part of the detail in the image over that little bit on the nose there. That's probably where she wears glasses, get a little bit of an indent, as I know from my own nose. And if I just click here, let's go over that bit that I clicked on there. That looks better. Right, so that's the detail, that's the line low frequency, colors, tones, coming back up to our same start position. This is the color, the tone we're picking up. He says not wanted to zoom in closer. There will do nicely. So I pressed Alt or Option, bringing it out. Look how much lighter that is. Now don't forget our opacity is 100%. We need to reduce this. Now you can come to the slider. You can reduce it this way. Let's go to 75%. Let's see how that's gonna look just a little bit bright. I'm gonna press five on the keyboard. I prefer to use this method. It takes me straight to 50%. Now that looks about right. So let's come over this area here and you can see if you've got any darkness under the eyes, this is a great way to remove that darkness. Just coming around here, just keeping an eye where my cursor is in the image. 
and just over this part like that into the corner i'm just going to readjust it let's pick up pixels from here and once again just coming into the corner of the eye that will do nicely over the bridge of the nose great stuff right let's take a look at the other eye and another method we can use now in with the in painting brush we have got the patch tool so i'm going to select this starting off high frequency this is the detail coming down and around i'm just going to go around those fine lines there over this area taking care for the bottom eyelashes so just coming around those like that back up round the eye that will do just moving my way down bringing my cursor up this is where we're picking pixels up from you can see if i go over there there it is but let's come to this sort of region here we'll look yep clicking down that will do nicely low frequency colors tones this is what we're dealing with now so coming around this area and just quickly i don't have to go under the bottom lashes because don't forget they are with the detail so if i just come up here clicking down not too keen on that i'm going to press k on the keyboard k is the shortcut for the clone brush tool right let's bring it out to this sort of area as we did before let's click down if i come down 50 percent is what i used on the other eye I'm going to press 4, taking it to 40%. I just want to make it a little bit darker than the other eye. That looks much better. Yeah, happy with that. That looks good. Come into the corner of the eye here. Once again, you can, of course, pick up the patch tool. Just coming around. We're on the colours, the tones. I'm going to leave it on that for just a moment and just lift it up. That looks better. Come into the high frequency coming over this area as well this time taking care to go over the corner of the eye bringing it out let's have a look on the bridge of the nose something like this there that will do nicely that's done a really good job zooming out to 100 percent that's command one control one right just lifting it up that looks pretty good i'm going to go in a little bit closer so that command two control two to 200 percent now that looks just a little bit over the top for this particular person okay we've done a pretty good job removing both the lines and the darkness from under those eyes but we have to keep it looking realistic we have to be a little bit more sympathetic okay if this were a much younger person we could probably get away with it but I think what we need to do now is to reduce the effect slightly. So coming down to low frequency, I'm going to press and hold down command or control, clicking on this. So both layers are now highlighted, right clicking. You can go down to group, command G, control G is the shortcut. Let's rename this group. I'm going to call it, uh, what we could call it, eyes slash skin, right so let's just come to the opacity slider taking a look this is what we started off with you can see there is a huge difference between the two but i like to just drop it down i want to keep a little bit of detail under those eyes i want to keep the shape of the eyes in particular by that i mean this line here i think that's important just to give that little bit of a shape to the eye of course you can reduce it down a touch more something like this if you want to yeah just 61 percent that'll do nicely right just unfolding it a few other things we're going to have a look at clicking on high frequency the texture of the skin here i just want to improve that command three control three to go to 400 percent pressing k on the keyboard is going to give me the clone brush tool leaving it no i need to take it back to 100% so pressing zero on the keyboard to take it to 100% let's pick up pixels from or should I say texture from this sort of area here so clicking down that's our source point bringing it out let's come around these lines here these smile lines these crow feet whatever they happen to be called I think they're called crow feet aren't they right around the texture of the eye like this Let's come to the other eye once again, changing the 
point that we're picking up from. So pressing Alt or Option, clicking down here, dropping the size of the brush down, left hand square bracket. Don't forget the color is staying exactly the same, the tone. We are purely working on the texture. So we're purely working on detail around this area, just reducing those smile lines, those crow feet there, that will do. And I'm just going to come down to this area. So picking up pixels from here and just reducing those lines there, that will do nicely. Right. So that's detail. Let's have a look at color. Just going to come down to underneath the nose is looking just a little bit on the red side. I've got 400%. So I'm just going to zoom out this time spacebar. Now pressing alter option. Let's go to this sort of area. Here it will do nicely. Clicking on low frequency. So that's the colors, the tones, taking the size of the brush right up. I'm going to come to this area or this sort of area there will do nicely. Picking up colors, tones. Glacier hasn't got a fringe. Clicking down, pressing alter option, clicking down. So this is where we're picking the colors, the tones from. 100% way too high. Pressing five on the keyboard, 50%. Yeah, keeping it natural. That should be. Now I'm going to go 40%. So pressing four on the keyboard and just coming over that under the nose. You can see there's a little bit of a shadow there, right? Readjusting my point that I'm picking my or selecting the colors, the tones from pressing alter option. You can see there's that cross clicking down, coming underneath the nose, the other side. I don't have to worry about the detail on the nose because of course it's on a separate layer and that's the great part stay. Thank you of working this way, picking pixels up from here. I just went over there, making it a little bit dark. Great stuff that will do nicely. If I switch this off and on, you can see the difference that's made, right? Something else, the flash, a little bit harsh. We're going to click on high frequency. We're going to pick up the patch tool. So come into this area rounds that area of the flash. Just bringing it out, picking up skin texture from this area. That's done a really good job. I'm going to leave it like that. Let's come over this area here. I'm going to go over the nose as well and just tone it down. You can see there that looks much better, doesn't it? Just taking that uh, gloss look away over that area. I suddenly spotted that right, but you couldn't tell. Coming down and around the texture here as well of the flash. I'm going to do this in two parts, lifting this up. I'm reducing it. I'm not sure I'm going to do the colors, the tones with this. I'm going to probably keep that the same just quickly over that area. There, bringing it out. Probably should have done a smaller amount, but that will just about fit in. Right, looks pretty good. You can, of course, come down. Let's go around here. You can make a selection like this. You can come down to low frequency. I can have a look at the colors, the tone, see if we can tone it down a little bit. You're not going to get rid of it completely. But on the other hand, you know, I think the, you know, the indication we've got lighting going on there. Yeah, that looks all right. So let's just click to fold this up. Some other of the little sort of blemishes on the skin we can deal with. Make sure the top layer is highlighted. We're going to add a new pixel layer. Let's come in with the patch tool. We have got the in painting brush. Now with the in, in painting brush, we need to make sure if you're going to use the in painting brush frequency separation layers, you need to use it on current layer for using it on our pixel layer. We need to use it current layer and below. So let's come to this one here, just going over it, over this uh, blemish on the skin there, gone just a little bit more on the sides. This is rushing off. It's just rushing off, picking up pixels from an area. It's not being particularly selective. It's not being intelligent about it. So yes, you may have to go over it a couple of times. Results can be different every time you do it. So just getting rid of some of the other little bits and pieces like that. And there we are. Let's leave it at this for the moment. Let's fold that up out of the way. I'm going to highlight this layer as well. Now turning them both off by clicking on the layer. You can see this is what we started off with. 
There it is, there is our image, just removing those skin blemishes to finish off, reducing the lines underneath the eyes and just cleaning up the flash. Looks pretty good. Let's just take a look at this image here. If I switch it off, this is what I started off with. I've reduced the lines under the eyes. I've also reduced the darkness under the eyes and under the nose, and I've softened the skin if I just switch it back on again. How did I do that? Well, let's just take a look. Here it is, here's the high frequency. Don't forget, this is the detail. I added a layer mask to it. That is going to reveal the low frequency underneath. And of course, low frequency is the blurred layer. So we're looking through to the blurred layer underneath. Just to show you if I press B on the keyboard or select the paintbrush, 100% opacity. That should do nicely, just making it a little bit bigger. Painting over, you can see how we can soften the detail in that skin on the hands as well. And there it is. So we can also soften skin as well as brightening up underneath the eyes and removing lines. Let's head back over to our image. I'm going to use Command-0, zero, Control-0. Zero. Let's go to uh, the original size as we did before. There's the before, there's the after. Go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe, plenty more videos to come. And if you click that little bell icon, you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.